collection book on the edge. CCD magazine is one of the magazines I publish and stuff that has appeared throughout over time and so this is just something that, and it's right from like the first page. A really short one for you called On Ashes. To house gas chambers work every morning as snow settles on ashes. And because I've been writing a poem every day, I decided that yesterday and today I would write things to relate somehow to Memorial Day and they both relate to Vietnam. Uh, this first one is called, that I wrote last night, it's called Just Names. I didn't think much of it when I was in Washington, D.C. and the journalist in me was photographing the Vietnam Memorial Wall. While there, I saw a woman there to revere a name etched in stone. Others put flowers there. But I, I was just there to take pictures of it. That was my job. It was only when they made the traveling wall, only then did I go with him all the way to Kenosha, Wisconsin, so that we could look for our own name, reflect upon a life lost in our own family, for it to really hit home. He served for six years. He met his end in South Vietnam. He was a Green Beret, but it doesn't say that on the wall. His wife never remarried. She stayed in the same house she picked with my cousin all these years, but it doesn't say that on the wall either. There are so many stories that wall cannot begin to explain. Names, just names, is someone shares. I like that one. I don't know. If I, I, I did. I like that one. The idea of the names, and I think I might do an Insta poll or get more of my shots of the Vietnam Wall, or do something like that. Something for me. Uh, this one is called. I wrote this morning. It is called. Killing women for healing. What? You'll know in a moment. You'll have to listen. <laughs> Searched the Vietnam Memorial Wall and saw all the brave men who had died. So then we started searching for women. Found captains, colonels, lieutenants. But it seems that every single woman in this war who was killed was a nurse. People go off to war to kill each other, and it was their job. It was the job of every single woman who died in that war to only heal people. To heal people. It was everyone's job in that war to kill each other, and it was the job of these women to heal them. Intriguing dichotomy, isn't it? How even in war you need a reminder of being well, and for this, these women were killed. Many can talk about the injustices of war, but it's only poignantly apparent when women are killed, only for trying to heal. Mm. 